In this week's terrain tutorial, I'll show you how we made this fantastic Ewok tree village for our Endor game using basically empty cardboard boxes from the Legion set. We're focusing on beginner techniques with cheap craft materials. For this project, you'll need an empty Legion box, string, glue, brown craft paints, scissors, a knife, masking tape, wooden sticks, and a dram of 15-year-old single malt Dalmore. You'll want whatever size giant redwood trees you plan to use nearby to help you determine the proper scale. Before we get started, let's take a quick look at some of the scenes from Return of the Jedi to see what an Ewok village looks like. Here we can see platforms at various heights in the trees. They're connected by narrow wooden walkways. In this scene, we get a good look at the round huts, which appear to have bark exteriors with a thatched roof. For scale, we can see Leia has to duck to exit the hut, so we know about how tall to make ours. To start, pull apart an empty Legion box, because we'll be using the thicker interior packaging as well as the thin exterior box. Starting with the interior cardboard, we'll measure out a round platform. Ours will range from 4 to 5 inches in diameter, but you should scale yours based on the size trees you plan to use. Next, we'll start making a hut by cutting out a 1 and 3 quarter by 7 inch strip of the thinner cardboard. Wrap that into a circle, use masking tape to secure it firmly. Our hut is about 2 inches in diameter. Sketch out a doorway and cut it out with scissors, then wrap the entire hut in masking tape. This will give a little extra texture when it comes time to paint at the end. For the roof, cut out a three and a half inch circle. Slit the radius with scissors and gently wrap it into whatever size cone looks and fits best on your hut. Tape the seam and trim any excess cardboard. You could leave the roof as removable, but I like to secure mine in place with glue. Now, you're gonna cut a series of thin planks from the cardboard box and then trim them to random lengths. With white glue, lay the planks in a staggered hardwood pattern. While the platform dries, this is a good time to sample some scotch. All right, let's return to working on the hut. Cut small lengths of string that will lay over the cone-shaped roof. Then use your fingertips to unwind and fray the ends of the string pieces. We'll then start gluing the string pieces to the roof. I like to work mine in sections. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Just cover the entire roof. While these dry, you can make your walkways. They're one and a half inch wide with thin cardboard planks glued on top of the thicker, heavier cardboard packaging. To keep them from warping, I glued some wooden dowels to the bottom. At this point, using the same technique, I've built three platforms that will be interconnected. We're gonna make all the handrails by cutting wooden dowels to one inch lengths. Then glue the dowels onto your platforms and walkways. While you can use whatever kind of glue you like, I advise using hot glue for its durability and instant drying time. Here are my finished platforms. Underneath, you can see I used thin cardboard to create a ring to help it sit securely on top of the tree, as well as a socket that my walkway slides into. Now you can see all the finished pieces together. On this platform, I added some cardboard steps, but that's optional. This is a modular design, and whatever, whatever layout you design could look different from mine. Finally, we're going to do some quick painting with brown tones, followed by a light dry brushing with a lighter tan. The raised details and the textures paint very easily. The last step is to finish our handrails. I've chosen to do that with string, which will carefully glue to the top of each one inch wooden post. This video went a little longer than our normal two minute terrain tutorial, but was a lot of stuff to cover. We love building terrain here at Little Wars TV, and it's amazing how much you can do with a cardboard box. If you haven't seen our Endor game yet, click here to watch that video. We had a ton of fun playing Star Wars Legion, and if you want to hear our review of the Legion rules, click down below. Live long and prosper.